What are we going to do about the map? <laughs> the conversation is hilarious. Um, we just had something happen. Uh, in Scotland, we had resignation of the prime minister. Sell the map to me, Lion says. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you should be able to get it somewhere. It's a world map. And I covered this up because I don't, you know, I don't want to promote them because Rupert Murdoch owns this. But it's a National Geographic, right? Before Rupert Murdoch bought the damn thing, right? There's a lot of countries left. There's a lot of countries left. Uh, something happened in Africa as well recently. Oh, Nigeria. There's major protests in Nigeria, right? Because the government came out. And so we were pretty bang on. We said this is a civil war. Uh, just in the last couple of days, the government came out uh, in the last few days, maybe. And they canceled certain banknotes. They canceled certain banknotes saying, oh, this money is no longer valid from what I understand. So there's major riots in Nigeria right now. Okay. Um, another place that just, uh, where was it? That you, the banks, they're, they're burning uh, banks uh, because the banks prevented, uh, stopped, uh, weren't allowing anyone to take their money out. Where was that? That was in, uh, okay, I got to look it up. It's on our uh, Gilded server. Um, Gilded server. Yeah, we should hit Africa first because we haven't really. Kazakhstan, great success. Kazakhstan, they tried to do a major color revolution there to put pressure on Russia in this direction. And Russia wouldn't have it. The Kazakh people wouldn't have it. They went in there and crushed it. Right? Crushed it. Uh, Lebanon, Lebanon, that's what it is. Mik, uh, Miktuga, Miktuga, Lebanon. And Lebanon. We have this, but I think in Lebanon, we should add a yellow to it too then, right? So Lebanon, we're going to have civil war here as well. Like this area is a shit show. Like, really. Like there's a lot of distraction from other places. But uh, never, never forget, this area is biblical. Biblical, right? Judaism, Islam, and Christian. Their center for their religion, religions, right, is here, okay, including a Baha'i and Zoroastrian, so many offshoots as well, right, so many offshoots as well, 980, I've learned to stay out of other people's uh, conflicts, if it directly affects uh, my or my people's uh, safety though, that's another story indeed. Give me Sigi. It's a tropical fruit that originates in South American countries. It's a, oh, that thing. Uh, it's a tropical fruit. What was it called again? I forgot what it was called again. It's a tropical fruit that originates in South African countries. It tastes like a mix of many fruits, like a cocktail, but it just has this very pure, smooth taste to it. I would imagine the fruit itself tastes like that too. Really? Wow, wow, wow. That sounds delicious crafter it is the case for many of them ba, 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 lions a lot of large forces in ireland mainly dublin right now to uh oh protest posters <laughs> protests limited immigration some protests getting heated with the left and right coming to blows some antifa mad madman tried to drive a car through a protest the other day really so ireland this area possibly maybe going towards a civil war because you have sunak here trying to backstep uh, backpedal on the brexit issue as well so in my opinion in my opinion this whole region is going to go yellow as well okay huge chunks of it in western europe we're going to start seeing a civil war or civil unrest okay which could be a precursor to civil war and again it goes back to what are we going to call it when governments institutions and media and everything centralizes waging war on their own citizens right name nameless to gamer 33 thank you very much for the follow uh, 
nameless gamer what's my opinion on ukraine right now um we've talked a fair bit about ukraine right now in the last two videos that we did i put out a couple of segments already and i'm going to release some segments in the next few days on last live stream that we talked about but in short in ukraine right now it was a proxy war okay so in ukraine started off as a proxy war and a civil war right but mainly a proxy war okay turned into a civil war went back into a major proxy war and now it's a hot war right and from this hot war once russia is done with what it's going to do and it's going to do what it's going to do there's no stopping what what is about to happen in ukraine right ukraine in my opinion is going to go back to a civil war okay and there's going to be a serious purging of ukrainian leadership that collaborated with western europe united states canada australia and new zealand with the with the collective west to wage to act as a proxy on waging war on russia okay ukraine is going to become balkanized its economy is has already plummeted but it's going to plummet more okay it's going to go into sort of a totalitarian state of being for it is right now but it's going to shift away from the west in my opinion right and what they're going to do in ukraine in western ukraine because eastern ukraine under the protection of russia and depends how far russia is going to go in my opinion russia is going to go all the way to odessa uh, my take is they're going to take all of this ukraine is going to be blocked off from the black sea right and once that happens though eastern ukraine is going to be fairly protected unless nato steps in officially right and you russia could annihilate the western forces here right war is going to change a little bit um we'll talk about that in a, in a second but basically western ukraine whatever is left of it is going to flip the people are going to turn on most likely okay turn on the people who have acted as a proxy and killed brought this devastation upon them right and the same we're going to see the same type of purge purging in western ukraine that we saw in iran after the 1978-1979 revolution where in a matter of three four years hundreds of thousands of people were disappeared right now which side is going to disappear and which side is going to uh, be in power really depends on uh, the next few months okay is it going to be the western back people that are going to remain in power and they're going to purge anyone out anyone that they want or are the people in western ukraine going to rise up against Zelensky and those puppets and eliminate anyone that supported them that's what i think is going to happen okay unfortunate this is i've said this before uh nameless this is the most unnecessary war i know of in history nothing comes close to this this did not have to happen not even close not even close okay this is totally planned uh devastation it's crazy what just took place gentlemen hey chicho by any chance would you do live uh tomorrow for yesterday's incident if not that's okay yeah i won't be able to gel in um i have students tomorrow that i have to deal with and uh i have to take care of uh, other things as well i would love to but uh, my time is so so crunched right now i took on a fair bit of work this year uh, because uh, as you know my partner was not permitted uh, to work uh, because of the man mandates in british columbia canada so even though the healthcare system is completely collapsed here there's a shitload of healthcare professionals that are not permitted to work the government doesn't allow them to work so canadians are dying in hospitals canadians dying at home because they can't get treatment and a lot of healthcare professionals have left british columbia canada and the people who have remained if they're lucky enough to have a partner that can increase uh, 
the income to pay the bills or they can downsize we know there's healthcare professionals that have had to sell their properties my partner knows of a nurse that is can't work as a nurse 30-year veteran as a nurse right pension no pension given to her okay no no compensate just fired right uh, she had to sell her home and she's living out of her car working as a nanny i think just imagine just imagine so th that answer my time is very limited right now unfortunately i mean we went from doing like three streams a week down to doing one a week uh i tried to get two this weekend and technical difficulties technical but jalen you know what come to our guild gilded server we're gonna do we'll do the lyric stream probably in two weeks send me a message okay or post a request in general folder i guess or send me a message let me know which days and times would work best for you okay and i'll set up the lyrics stream or any other stream that you want um, as long as we can manage it on that time that you want it okay that way we can make sure you come is that cool i hope that works yeah protests in china all this all the time ireland is the start of rebellion elder god says let's see did you go uh, did you go more in depth on the russia ukraine conflict in a previous stream i'd like to go watch the vod uh if that is true i've done segments um we i'm gonna upload one that um that i pulled a segment that i pulled on last week's that i went through the war on russia we started with afghanistan from 1978 and just went through the whole thing uh but all the ukraine stuff there's multiple little segments of it you have to follow us if you want to if you want to know about the ukraine stuff i don't upload everything to sensor tube sensor tube is full of it's crazy i post anything about ukraine saying hey maybe there's multiple parties that are guilt faultier and people are freaking out like a lot of people on sensor tube there's there is a there is a fair bit that understand what's happening there's a proxy war in russia but there's a lot of people that <laughs> they're, they're either low iq people or, or or trolls or shills that uh, they're not getting it it's very weird very weird right but i post everything on bitchu rumble and odyssey so you'll be able to see the ukraine stuff there more than you will here like way more videos on ukraine loaded on here than there um and there's an article that i wrote uh, on my blog in 2000 and, uh, like if you go to my website uh, just chicho.com if you do chicho.com will take you to blogspot right and on the left column i there's a politics uh what do you call it a table of contents right and if you scroll down there's ukraine there and i wrote about four different articles on ukraine back in 2013 14 15. okay if you click on that it'll take you to the ukraine section and the what's happening right now the build-up of it even though it began with georgia really it began with georgia okay what nato was doing they were moving right to the border of russia and that's a no-no right with nato right Ukraine is a much bigger version of Georgia, right? So, and Georgia happened in the mid 2000s, right? But what's happening in Ukraine right now, the really, the straw that broke the camel's back was a 2014 coup. And there's about four articles that I put together regarding what was going on in that period. You have to understand what happened during that period to understand what is happening right now, including the stuff in the middle that I stopped writing about okay because i didn't i didn't want to uh as, as i said in uh my main article that i put out saying this was going to be the strictly last year political blah 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 we read it last stream i didn't want to uh, document the carnage that was to come because it was clear what was going to happen and that's where we are right now lions i highly doubt we'll get to a hot civil war the ira can't hold a candle to the irish military and the irish government full well 
no they can't take the north by force no i don't think so uh, civil war i'm talking about uh lions here is when the war that is being the silent war was well, not too silent the silent war if you want to call it right um being loose with words here the silent war that governments in western countries are waging war on their citizens might turn hot so it's not a regional war it's not a war about uh borders it's a war about rights right that's really what a civil war is to me it's not about drawing boundaries it's about rights and western governments right western oligarchs have taken an, taken away human rights of their citizens for the last in the last three years in a big way it really in the united states it started with the patriot act of course right that was the trigger for me once the patriot act got passed right and it kept on being renewed it told us something it said that the government is going to continue waging war on its own citizens end of story and western governments followed that lead right because who calls the shots in the western world is the united states okay so they follow that we lead so for the last 20 years 22 years western governments have been waging war on their own citizens what's going to break the camel's back right what's going to break the camel's back canada became very close to it right the trucker movement in canada right that was a legit grassroots movement from everyday canadians saying enough is fucking enough right you can't prevent us from working are you crazy right you can't force us to not have bodily autonomy are you fucking crazy right and they did a movement this is not over by the way this is not over not by a long shot right not by a long shot right that's what i mean with a civil war i think europe is going to see it soon certain parts probably right probably remember remember gang remember okay before the rollout of uh sweet sweden for sanity calls it the f forcing people to drink tea and the lockdowns and stuff like this what was going on in the world really what was going on in the world before all these lockdowns and the thing that came from there possibly came from there went all over what was going on in the world there was mass protests everywhere in the world there was mass protests everywhere in the world right from south america to central america to canada united states canada not so much right canada's pretty sleepy right that's why they were able to do what it is they're doing right but in the united states in europe in france yellow vest there was mass protests in, mass protests in asia all over the world there was mass protests and then magically something came along and those lockdowns right what's going on what's going on right nameless so russia is going to win or just stay at it no russia uh, nameless ukraine lost the moment they didn't abide by minsk minsk one and two they didn't take russia's statements as facts saying look man stop killing russian-speaking ukrainians you fuckers okay we don't want to go to war okay but we will prevent you from committing genocide in the east okay ukraine the collective west nato lost from day one when they instigated this war they lost okay they lost from day one when they kick russia off swift right they lost okay they were done why were they done why did the collective west commit harry carry collective suicide why right because the people here went we can't lose europe we have to maintain control on europe okay the people here okay 
they have already lost in multiple places a lot of places they lost in africa there's an african country that just told uh, was it charlie uh chad i think it was chad that just recently agreed to host the russian military military base mali just kicked out gave france two months to pack up and get the fuck out right so europe united states they're losing africa if it wasn't ever theirs to begin with right but that's the way they look at it we lost africa we're losing africa right so the united states to maintain a stranglehold right as much as it can it's collapsed europe like the attack when the united states norway right Sweden and Denmark collaborated with the UK to blow up Nord Stream 1 and 2. They were waging war on Germany. They knew exactly what was going to happen in Germany. Germany is collapsing. Done. Why is it collapsing? Because Western Europe, the only reason it was either, the only reason it was maintaining uh, a certain illusion of prosperity was because they were getting cheap energy from Russia that's that's it right what runs the world energy runs the world right energy you got access to energy you survive you got access to cheap energy you prosper right it's like a human being you got access to food you survive you got access to a lot of food right as long as you're exercising you don't become a pig and eat yourself to death right you will live a pretty healthy life right countries are the same way but what they did when they blew up north stream one and two when why was ukraine ukraine was the main artery of energy going into western europe right main artery of energy going to western europe right as soon as they blew those up they basically killed off their own energy supply out of ukraine i think maybe a little still tricking i can't remember Turkey building the pipelines coming up this way, right? Energy is coming this way. These idiots under the dictates of the neocons and the desires of the World Economic Forum and the EU, the oligarchs there, right? They cut off their own damn energy supply. They cut off their own energy. Stop eating. What's going to happen if you stop eating? You're going to die. That's exactly what Europe did. They cut off their own fucking food supply on the promise, on the promise that within 10 years, Canada said in 10 years, we might be able to get you some energy. <laughs> right? All our shores come to Canada. We need energy. We need food. We got to eat. We're dying. Oh, in 10 years, we'll get you some, possibly some energy, possibly. Right? The United States, they're hidden there reserves right <laughs> they're hitting their reserves these guys think this is gonna save them at five three ten times the cost whatever the cost is way more than what they were getting from russia right europe is done western europe is done they just collect committed collective suicide right or let's paraphrase right because the majority of people in europe didn't realize what was happening stupid on them right stupid on them they were protesting right before the lockdowns but they drank the kool-aid many of them they fucking drank the kool-aid right so what's happening here is western europe the oligarchs the world economic forum the neocons they just murdered Western Europe. I think this is going to go yellow. I think it's going to go yellow. When? Might be a decade. But it's going in that direction. Right? Going in that direction. Uh, nameless. My opinion is different. The West isn't perfect. No, no the West isn't going to make it for another 50 years but west western is still better than putin's propaganda and prisoners fighting in ukraine um prisoners at least russia went to the prisoners and said hey reduce sentence if you go fight for us 
they gave them the options in ukraine they're driving around vans and picking up anyone from 16 to 60 males fighting age that's their definition they reduced the age to 16 i think right they're going around with vans hijacking kidnapping people putting them in a van putting a i'm assuming they're giving them guns and shipping shipping them off to the front lines no choice no choice right a lot of people go oh russia's people left russia because they didn't want to go to war yeah how many a few tens of thousands how many million left ukraine right it's a different game it's a different game right don't buy into the western propaganda russia's you know is is about to bulldoze ukraine in my opinion the war is very dumb the war is stupid nameless i agree with you i'm scrolling down gang scrolling down i'm gonna see if there's anything directed to my chicho uh elder god chicho need to maybe do more late evening streams in the music room yeah i think so i think so i'm gonna once uh I, i've lightened my load a little bit uh i had some students that they were on a semester system so they're finished uh fortunately unfortunately they want to take physics so i'm going to start teaching them physics danny the butcher thank you very much for the follow so i got uh, some i thought some there's going to be some openings but they're coming back uh and someone will want me to teach them next year's lessons as well uh <laughs> smart kids right smart parents uh they're they finished their math but they're not letting me go um so i'll try to make some time i'll try to make some time I know, I know. What? When the governments wage war on you, right? Our government in British Columbia, both the provincial and the federal, has been waging war on Canadian citizens, right? We have to do what we got to do, right? We got to do what we got to do uh, to stay uh, relevant, to be resilient, to make sure we're strong mentally, physically, right? And financially, we are independent from these fuckers. Because you know, you know retribution is coming for them. You know it. You can feel it in the air. You can feel it in the air. They're fucking running scared. As they should be. Right? I'm scrolling down again. I'm scrolling down. Nameless, nameless. Let me see, let me see. So it's like the Middle East wars. Uh, someone benefits while other others dying. Yeah, there's always someone collecting the cash. Yeah. 100 percent and ukraine is one of the most corrupt countries in the world the most corrupt country in europe N nothing even comes close to it right nothing even comes close to it right and it's one of the most corrupt countries in the world it's on the and on the corruption level it's on the same scale as what afghanistan was under occupied uh nato right that's ukraine is probably more corrupt than that right? I, I don't know any other country that's more corrupt than ukraine i really don't which country is more corrupt than ukraine canada mm. canada's pretty fucking corrupt the, the people running it pieces of shit but they don't come close to ukraine right i'm scrolling down again i'm scrolling down Let's see if there's anything directed to it uh sudan it was, oh sudan uh oh yeah 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 it was sudan so sudan uh, that's the russian military base right uh, Joe, Joe, you're on the ball on this. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was it wasn't Chad. It was Sudan that um, just okayed a Russian military base to be put in there. Just imagine. Do you guys remember? This is Sudan, right? Do you remember George Clooney a few years ago? Hollywood, not a Hollywood clown, right? We need to separate Sudan into two parts and stuff. Why is the fucking George Clooney coming out? and talking about what we should do to an african what we in the west what we in the west europe united what we should dictate what we should do what sh sudan should do that's when i knew george clooney was a piece of shit clown right like he was doing the same shit that sean penn's doing in ukraine right same shit 
Hollywood is vomit inducing. George uh, Larkbar, George Clooney is Hollywood. Hack, very much like Sean Penn. Yeah, yeah, very much. Uh, availability. Uganda all, also told them to fuck off and call them uh, call them col colonizers. Did they? Uganda did as well. Yeah. Cool. Gang, what are we gonna do about Africa? We gotta focus on Africa. Chad is peaceful right now, isn't it? Chad is peaceful right now, isn't it? Uh, Joe Chicho, Germany should never have turned off their nuclear plant. Never, they shouldn't have. I put out a video a while ago saying that I didn't like nuclear plants. I think they were dirty, right? I take that back. I take that back. Okay, I'm still going to keep it up, but they're dirty. They're old. We need new technology, right? Some people burn my ass for that, and I deserved it, right? Because I didn't clarify, right? It wasn't a video. It was a little segment, so I should have clarified more. But yeah, uh, I prefer nuclear plants over this war any day, man. Any day. Will England survive? Dizzy Moth. Yeah, England will survive. UK? I don't know. Is UK going to remain as is? Or are they going to separate? Are they going to separate? Right? England will survive. It's not doing too well, though. Availability. What's happening in Western Europe is being suicided because of U.S. foreign policy. It always concludes to war. And because the U.S. is a war economy that needs to start wars, they are starting more wars. They've proven they're willing uh, to stab their allies in the back to fill their money pot. Wolfowitz doctrine, etc. It's all uh, systematically designed to provoke conflict. 100%. But you can't dismiss the responsibility that European oligarchs and royalty have had in Europe. They are very much to blame for what's happening. If someone comes and gives you a gun and says, kill your family, when you kill your family, right? Are they responsible more than you? Or do you ha have the same weight, right? Look at the people at the World Economic Forum. Oh, man. Chicho, what is your choice of country to run away to if Canada becomes un unlivable under Trudeau? Say you have to escape, force injections, go to US. Uh, I can honestly tell you, I wouldn't go. Okay. Um, oh, I lost one of our thingamajigs. Where'd you go? Um, in regards to Canada, right? I don't think there's any place to go to, to tell you the truth, right? I would stand my ground because this is my country. I've buried two brothers here, man. I ain't fucking going, <laughs> right? I ain't going. I ain't going to get forced out by Trudeau or his like. And I think many Canadians feel the same way, right? So most Canadians, many that I know, they're, they're not leaving right okay but if you had to go right and sometimes you do have to go I would buy my time maybe in one of the islands here right one of the islands here possibly okay South America I don't know I don't know no, look at what Brazil is doing. Brazil is a civil war. 100% Brazil is in civil war, right? So let's put a civil war on Brazil. Let's put a civil war on Brazil because Brazil is civil war. Let's put this guy back. So would I go to South America? No, look what happened. Look what happened as soon as Bolsonaro was gone. You had a clown. You had a clown coming to power 
saying that anyone that doesn't want to take give up their bodily autonomy could be sent to jail for eight years and fine thousands of dollars whoa shit that's pretty serious business right that's pretty serious business could they do the same thing in canada no people will fucking fight back man people will fucking fight back right um all this blue looks great right however these areas have shown like look at philippines right Ducarte, he's not in power anymore i don't think so anyway but when he came into power he started pretty fascistic totalitarian right you do this or you die right you do this or you die right will it go there again i don't know i don't know right look at um vietnam seems pretty good from what i've seen vietnam seems pretty good thailand seems legit thailand seems legit okay so this area possibly i wouldn't go to korea even though i fucking love my koreans right japan no japan's off the mark okay middle east no this place is gonna blow sky high most likely europe i wouldn't set foot in sorry gang europe is it's a hot zone armenia i could get citizenship right because i'm armenian i can go there get citizenship be able to buy land right but i wouldn't go there that's a hot zone that's going to blow sky high right that's going to blow sky high islands seem legit okay so this area as far as we know they're blue right oh i lost my blue where's my blue I dropped my blue thing, so I'm gonna grab blue here. Okay, let's do let's do the islands. Let's put some blues along here because these are blue, so might as well let it stand out, right? As far as I know, like Saint Lucia, uh, Grenada, uh, Dominica, uh, what are they? Saint Vincent? Uh, Martinique, uh, Puerto Rico to a certain degree, maybe no. Puerto Rico, no. Okay. Uh, where else? Where, where else? Bahamas, we already got as blue. Cuba, but Cuba mm, problems there, but it's safe. Cuba's safe. Okay. But there are problems there. Okay. And you have to abide by a totalitarian regime, right? If they say you got to take it up to shoot, you got to take it up to shoot, right? So I wouldn't go there. So this taking it up to shoot thing sort of eliminates a lot of these not so independent countries, right? But if you want to escape war, they could be legit as long as it's not a war on you, right? So these areas seem fairly safe, right? Would you agree? difficult to say difficult to say africa looks good i can honestly tell you oh god thank you very much for the subscribe how many how many months in a row oh, oh wow i'm way behind. oh the god where is it oh oh it didn't tell me just call me gifted oh wow just call me gifted a sub to oh the god just call me gifted a sub to oh the god right on <laughs> thanks very much just call me salute 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 Africa, tell you the truth, is looking very good because the uptake, people that said my body, my choice was 95%. Compared to that to Western Europe that said, my body, tell me what to do with my body. Same with Canada. Tell me what government, corporations, media, tell me what I should do with my body. That's what the reply was in Western Europe, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, right? So I dangerous places right but africa 95 percent said my body my choice mc mike thank you very much for the sub salute salute right so i'd like to go somewhere where there's at least uh, if i was going to escape some kind of individuality right which is the problem i have with asia 
right? It's very collective, right? And same with Europe, it's become very collective. The government says this, scare the shit out of you, everyone jumps ship, right? It's crazy. I'm gonna scroll back up again just to. Uh, oh, it's a naval base. And Sudan is a naval base? Oh, so it's a naval base up here. Oh, yeah, that's right. So Russia is building a small, from what I remember, it's a small naval base in Sudan in here. Right? Pretty damn important. The Red Sea? Pretty damn important. Right? Thank you very much, Joe for uh, keeping us informed. <laughs> Niger, Niger, Autobot zapped you, Makila. So uh, Mozambique and Niger because of Islamist groups attacks. So yellow for Mozambique and Niger. Okay, let's do it. Yellow, Niger. What about Chad? What's Chad like? What's going on with Chad? Do we know? Now, where's Mozambique? Mozambique, 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 Mozambique. Oh, Mozambique's down there. There, Mozambique. There's Islamists there. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mozambique. Is there for sure? Do we know this for sure? Crypto <laughs> Cube TV, are you a right winger? Hilarious. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> First time chat. Thank you very much for popping into our live stream. Salute, salute. Let's see, let's see. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Uh, Lions, whales will never separate. They're the biggest. <laughs> My Welsh friends would not appreciate that. Fun, Chicho, good answer. Thanks, brother. Lions, Chicho. Uh, nah, come to Ireland, have a pint, and let the whole thing blow over. <laughs> I like Ireland. I like Ireland. Go into a pub, play music, and drink beer. Oh my god, <laughs> of course, if you don't have bodily autonomy, you can't go into a pub and drink beer and play music with them. So that's a shitter, right? Joe Chicho, do you think you'll ever visit Iran or Armenia again? Um, uh, I hope to, I hope so. One day, not looking likely anytime soon, though. And I've never been to Armenia. I've never been to Armenia. I would like to go one day, but would I go there? No. No. That's a war zone. Why would I travel to a war zone? Uh, I'm not into waging war. Right? We have our man on the island. Yeah, Ireland. Just got to make sure. Uh, yeah. One of my best friends is Irish. Ducklin. <laughs> That's an Irish name. You ever heard of one? Availability. South Koreans can be such nice people. Yeah, indeed. I like my Korean friends. Uh, and I had a couple of brothers, South Korean brothers. And I like my um, Japanese friends and stuff too. Antarctica? No. Antarctica is con completely controlled, right? So, Antarctica, if you want to go there, you got to do whatever the centralized power says. So, Antarctica bodily autonomy was zero. No one could say I have a right over my own body. So why would I go there? Right? And you can't grow food there. You're totally dependent on outside forces. So no. South Korea is full of cults. They are indeed. <laughs> Which can be problematic in some senses. Indeed, indeed. But they do. They're tough little buggers. South Koreans. They're tough. Shame sucks. Greetings, fellow bipedal land mammals and quad quadruple pedal uh contrarians <laughs> shame song da, 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 i'm scrolling down scrolling down. Pawn, chicho philippines has communist rebels that kidnap and hold for ransom southern thailand is very dangerous southern thailand is very dangerous okay 
uh, jihadis behead so many people there, uh, arm their uh, citizens for free to defend it. Really? So should we put yellow in southern Thailand? Should we put yellow in southern Thailand? I didn't realize that in Thailand. You're living uh, in the Philippines, so in Philippines could be seriously problematic. Thailand, I didn't know about. All right. Oops. Come here. Hey. So southern Thailand. Border goes. Malipen, by Hati Hatiyai. <laughs> <laughs> pronouncing names so i'm gonna put yellow there okay just so we get a visual of where problem areas might be right and thank you very much again uh just call method me just call me 2097 for uh, the gift what about Cameroon? What about Cameroon? Cameroon has some problems. Cameroon, there was something going on recently. Uh, where is it? Right here. There, there was something going on in Cameroon recently. So it's not, uh, it's not a stable. Hype train. Where's a hype train? Hype train. <laughs> Chicho's been caught scrolling now 57 times. <laughs> Give me a secret quote. A hype train starts when multiple viewers support with subs. Nice. Gifts or bits. Once a hype train is underway, the community fills up the hype meter with more subs, gifts, or bits. Everyone who contributes receives one unique emote based on the highest level completed. Oh, cool. That's what a hype train is. Nice, nice. Chicho. You could fish. Ah, you could fish, indeed. See, I'm on the west coast of Canada, so we could always fish here. But here's a problem. Ah, fish supplies are seriously in trouble to a certain degree. You're talking about Antarctica. Uh, I don't know. How's the fish, fish situation in Antarctica? How's the fish situation in Antarctica? Man, Automat doesn't like... Uh, this so i'm going to read this uh, a troy automod zapped us i'm going to allow it but i'm going to read your thing otherwise it's going to pop away from me chad niger mali algeria all got islamist insurgents going on right now the new leader of mali accepted help from russia and pissed the french off by doing so yeah and france what a fucking i wrote an article i put an article together back in I don't know when it was 2012 or 11 or something like this saying uh the future uh, future of africa looks bleak and i explained here's why it was a four-parter one of them was about france and not learning the uh lessons of algiers and was about a comic book that was put out and those idiots went into mali uh, like crazy Euro european leaders are whack okay niger so these are country chat so chat as well so chat is a civil war okay let's put that on there uh we got niger uh what was the other one algeria algeria too eh? algeria i mean libya this whole area fucking nato not nato it's just fucking canada united states france and italy and the UK, they annihilated the most prosperous country in Africa. Like fuck, man, the crime committed there. Wow. So we got. Uh, let's check this out. Chad, Mali, Niger, Algeria, all have Islamic. Blah, 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 blah. And what's the other one? And Mali just told France to f off, and Russia's in, right? Okay, thank you very much, Troy. I'm going to allow the thing now. Uh, Automata zapping Niger because it thinks it's something else, right? Uh, Jalen, I feel that as a Hispanic American, I absolutely despise Mexico as I've seen a lot. And I've seen my mom get kicked as a kid. Uh, my father was killed recently there. He lived there and my family... Uh, 
when they got to Mexico ask me why I never gonna go that's because it's a trash guy I don't think all of Mexico all of Mexico can't be a trash guy right northern Mexico there's serious problems there but there are pockets which are okay but if all of Mexico goes all those little pockets you're gonna see some serious shit happen right so Mexico is on the teeter-totter we have it as a civil war and to a certain degree it is uh, but mainly on the north from what I understand in, in the south is it's not that bad but it is a major pathway for the migration going on this way so if you're near one of the highways or the main route where migrants are making their way up south up uh, north right towards the United States there's going to be a lot of uh, it's not safe I don't think where because there's going to be a lot of gangs first of all there's going to be a lot of certain amount of criminal element in there a lot of desperation moving in this direction right so if you're near one of these major pathways of this migration uh, very problematic like I do I wouldn't trust any of the numbers saying if you know they're you know if what the crime rate is and stuff because a lot of it's not going to be reported it's like hawaii right they don't say how many people drown in hawaii because a lot of people drown in hawaii right oh hell of god thank you uptime one hour 45 minutes okay cool 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 i want to scroll down more uh joe from what i understand the issues in thailand thailand um are along the southern border with malaysia because it's muslims and buddhists clashing okay so we put it in the right place right so again if everything's blowing sky high around you is that safe right is that safe uh lion's future what what do you reckon is the la least corrupt country in the world least corrupt country least corrupt country <laughs> I, I iceland i think is would be up there the least one of the least corrupt in 2008 they threw bankers in jail right so iceland i would say Enzo says Antarctica, but Antarctica isn't a country. It's satellite offices. Countries have satellite offices there, right? Uh, least corrupt country in the world. That's a good question. Iceland, I would put up there. Uh, Western Europe, all of it fucked. All of it. All of it. Norway. Norway helped the United States blow up Nord Stream 1 and 2. They, they attacked Germany. And they're supposed to be allies. <laughs> what the? F? They attacked Germany. The government of Norway attacked the citizens of Germany. Are any Germans out there? What the fuck? Right? Bangladesh. We haven't done Bangladesh. I I don't know anything about Bangladesh. Okay so what's bangladesh should be a, it hasn't hit my radar so i'm assuming this is clean djibouti oh djibouti where's djibouti djibouti is here somewhere isn't it where is djibouti am i in the wrong part of the globe where is djibouti so we've got Djibouti and Bangladesh we gotta figure out what about Botswana Zimbabwe I don't know what Zimbabwe is going on you can't go a civil war it's just an inflation <laughs> war why is uh, Namibia marked I was there three years ago on a road trip uh, Namibia Namibia where's Namibia okay what do we got Ghana Togo 
Burka fiasco, Ivory Coast, Libya, Sierra Leone, New Guinea, or Ghana, Ghana, Gabon, Congo, Cameroon, Central Republic. Okay, where are we? Namibia. Did we mark Namibia? That's Angola. Where's Namibia? What? My geography is messed up. First time chat. Harold Flower 69. Chisho, do you think the United States would go to war with China over a Taiwan invasion? No, but I think uh, they're building up to have some kind of conflict, unfortunately. If, if China invaded right now, United States wouldn't go to war right now. Is that going to be the case five years from now? Right? I don't know. Right now, United States can't do shit about Taiwan if China wants to take it. Right? Uh, but I don't think China will take it right now. Uh, China's just buying its time. China, it's like the collective West is committing collective suicide. If we believe that China and Russia are their adversaries, why would China and Russia do anything? other than let the collective West commit suicide, because that's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing, right? Or what we're doing, right? Everything is going according to plan. If you believe China and Russia are your adversaries, everything is going to plan according to them. We're annihilating ourselves, right? First time chat, just call me Tony97. I'd like to ask your opinion. Oftentimes, I see people comment about a country such as the U.S., Canada, European countries, true countries of freedom. Uh, they speak with such negative con connotations towards the country they live in. Yet daily, so many people flee other countries to come to these opportunistic places. What's your opinion towards people who never realize how good they have it? Uh, as the saying goes, people constantly think... Uh, the grass is greener on the other side that's why i say when pawn asked me where would i go outside of canada i it, i wouldn't right now right because i don't have anyone shooting at me at the moment however one of the reasons people are, are trash talking the western countries that we live in is because rights are being taken away like what's what's the most attractive thing right most desirable element of living in the western world it's not the intelligence of the people i can i can tell you that right i saw more intelligent people when i went to cuba in the 90s per capita than i have ever seen in canada like really like the people i talked to in cuba in the 90s spoke multiple languages new science new mathematics they were worldly they were athletic they were they blew away the average intelligence level of canada right so it's not because people in western world are smart because there's a lot of idiots here right are we healthy here no not healthy right compared to cuba <laughs> the people in cuba health wise man <laughs> you can't you can't mess with it right i'm just taking cuba as an example right uh, one thing canada has that i can tell you is land lots of lots of land right and in the 90s we had a lot of freedom a lot of freedom and we had a good standard of living right because our money our pay would we were in the top of the pyramid right so if you were making a salary in canada in the 90s right you could travel to a lot of places and live like a king. I could, you couldn't go to Europe and live like a king. I, I tried in 98. I went there. It was fucking expensive. I couldn't go to Scandinavia because I found out a beer was like $10 Canadian. I'm like, damn. I spent a lot of time in Spain because you ordered a vodka and they brought it. couldn't believe it. Right? You, I ordered a vodka in Spain. They put the glass in there. They, I, I go... Uh, vodka la glace la glace i think it's ice or something if i recall correctly with ice and they put a glass in front of me put ice in it, and just kept on pouring 
And they kept, they would fill it up to the top. I was like, what the hell? And then someone told me, oh, they fill it until you tell them to stop. Try that shit in Canada. <laughs> you, order, you order vodka, they give you a shot of this much for like six bucks, right? Europe in the 90s for Canadians was pretty expensive, but most of the rest of the world was pretty cheap, right? Right now, that standard of living has dropped big time because inflation has kicked in, right? Not only that, in Canada in the 1990s, there was a lot of freedom. You had bodily autonomy. In the last three years, bodily autonomy went down the toilet, right? Bodily autonomy went down the toilet. So one of the reasons people are trash talking in the Western countries where we live is because they're seeing a lot of rights being taken away from them and total totalitarianism rolling in, right? So we have totalitarian regimes in the beginning stages of being formed because what Western governments Western oligarchs, Western corporations have been doing to the global south, to Africa, to Central America, to Southern uh, South America, to a fair chunk of Asia, right? And Eastern Europe, what the Western governments have been doing to them and the Middle East, don't forget the Middle East, what they've been doing to them, they're starting to do to their own citizens. So for example, biometrics, right biometrics right keeping track of people's fingerprints biometrics eye scans and stuff like this do you know what one of the places one of the first places was that that was rolled out in the world who it was done by and to who it was done to i know this because i wrote about it okay this was in the mid 2000s mid 2000s in fallujah iraq okay Mad Dog Mattis, right? United States in Iraq, okay, they surrounded Fallujah because they said there was Islamists there, and there were. But what the fuck is the U.S. doing occupying Iraq, right? That's a long story. We talked about it a little bit in last stream. In Fallujah, the United States surrounded the city, right? They turned to the people and said, okay, Women and children can leave. Okay. Anybody coming into Fallujah, you have to have your biometrics taken. Okay. They bombed the civilian town. Just bombed the shit out of it. Hit medical facilities. Uh, hit ambulances. Killed innocent people. Because some people wouldn't leave. That's their town. Right? We know this because of Dar Jamal. Who's Dar Jamal? Dar Jamal was an American citizen that was living in Alaska. Never done journalism before. He saw the Iraq war roll out and he saw the media and the collective West cheering this shit on. Exactly the same way they do now, right? Rah, 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 let's go to war. Rah, 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 let's go to war. Bad guys, bad guys, bad guys, bad guys. Let's go kill them. Let's go kill them. Right? Bomb the shit out of them televise the stuff live look at this white phosphorus haha -ha. remember during the first gulf war was what was that general's name oh, fat fuck right he was televising something and they were showing this was cnn live right they were showing this bridge that they were blowing up okay and they go oh you're about to the guys the guys giving the speech live on tv right He's saying, oh, you're about to see the luckiest man in the world, right? And it's night vision. And you see this car or a bike drive across this bridge. I think it was a car. Drive across this bridge, right? And as soon as it gets over the bridge, the United States blows up this bridge. And the guy, the general, and they show this video and everyone, all the media starts laughing. The general starts laughing. He goes, ha ha, just imagine this guy driving across this bridge and looking on his rear rear mirror and seeing the bridge blow up. He's a lucky man. Motherfucker. Right? Motherfucker. Right? That, when people talk about the atrocities here, man, you, you didn't, if you guys didn't witness Gulf War 1 and 2 in real time, you don't know what atrocities are. Right? United States surrounded Fallujah, bombed the shit out of it. We know this because Dar Jamal went there. Okay, I got videos of Dar Jamal's 
Uh, here, I'll link it up for you. He wrote a book about it. I got one of his books signed. Okay. I went and talked to him. I videotaped the thing. It was me videotaping it and one other person that I knew. Um, and he, he does uh, uh, stimulator, right? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here, I'll find you the link. Chicho TV. Where is it? Where is it? Let me find it for you. Let me find it for you, man. I got so much stuff here. Wuhan. Here we go. Fallujah. Okay. This is, I recorded the whole speech that Dar Jamal was giving. Okay. Here's the article I wrote in 2012 regarding Fallujah. Watch the video. Watch the video that is in this post. Okay. At the bottom of the article that I wrote. Watch this video. You tell me if this doesn't bring tears to your eyes. Okay, you tell me if this doesn't bring tears to your eyes. Fallujah is the first place that biometrics will rolled out, okay, by a Western power on citizens of an occupied country. And at the time, I wrote multiple pieces, short pieces, some of them. I might have mentioned in this piece as well. I can't remember. I wrote a shitload of stuff on Iraq. You can take a look at it. I mentioned that what they're doing there is going to come to our own countries. Okay, it's going to come to our own countries. Lo and behold, what's going on 15 years later? Biometrics. Biometrics. Trying to do biometrics. Like literally, Europe is talking about biometrics. Canada is talking about biometrics. Right? Rolling up biometrics for your own citizens. Do people actually think that these governments, right, that did this to women and children, families, to a town in Iraq, are not going to do the same thing to fucking us? Do we actually think that governments, the corporations, the oligarchs, the warmongers, the psychopaths, distinguish between our lives and the lives of Fallujans? Do you think they give a rat's ass about us? So to answer your question, why do people in the West talk so much shit about our governments? Because our governments are murderous fucking regimes, right? If you live in the global South, you know this, right? And some of us are seeing the guns now pointing at us and they're about to do to us what they did to citizens of Fallujah. That's why. Okay. That's why. I'm scrolling down again. Joe Chicho, is the blue circle for Malaysia or Singapore? Um, da, 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 da. We got Indonesia, Philippines. Wait a second. You mean here? This blue circle? Joe? Because that's the only place I see the circle. Hold on, let's see this. I gotta read the things. This is Cambodia, Vietnam. We got Laos. We got Thailand, right? We got Myanmar. Philippines. Indonesia, Malaysia. Yeah, we put it. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is Malaysia. So I put it on the capital. I think the capital is there, isn't it? That's Jakarta, isn't it? Jakarta is there. Must be there. Oh, okay. Hold on. sticky is really sticky yeah 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 hold on Jakarta's down on no, no, Jakarta's up here oh man I'm getting all my names all confused now yeah Malaysia this is for Malaysia 
So it should be there. It should be there, I guess. Right? Where's Singapore? I'm missing Singapore. Okay, I gotta look at this map more closely now. I gotta look at the map more closely now. Uh, Djibouti is between Ethiopia and Yemen. It's between Ethiopia and Yemen. Okay, cool. So we're putting yellow on there. Oh, it's right there. I knew it. It's uh, Eritrea. Is Djib so was Djibouti uh, uh, not at war? That's right. Djibouti is right there. Okay, what did we decide on Djibouti? Southwest of Africa. Southwest of Africa. Do, 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 do. Southwest. Wait a second. Cape Town. That was the other country you guys were mentioning. Botswana. Botswana. What are we doing for Djibouti? Okay, I'm gonna Cheryl. So Joe. And what was for southwest of Africa, Joe? Which country are we looking at? I'm going I'm scrolling down again. I'm scrolling down. Jacoby, thank you very much for the 5,000 points. Uh, I'm scrolling out to see if there's anything directed towards me. Yeah, by the way, gang, you can save your points and use the points for auction next year. We just did one recently, so you got lots of time to build up points. Overtime activated. How are we doing with overtime? We're in overtime. Let's get Djibouti sorted out. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Da -da 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 -da. Good rank, how can you do uh, uh, Joe Chicho, the one just below the yellow one. The one just below the yellow one. Oh, there it is. Swaziland, that's Swaziland. Mozambique, Swaziland. Tanzania, Kenya. I thought Kala Lampur was the capital of Malaysia. It's, oh, Kala Lampur is probably the capital of Malaysia. Yeah, I do, I'm not good with... Uh, Jakarta is Indonesia. Thank you very much, Smith. And sorry, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Kala Lamp, uh, Lampa. Kala Lampa is capital of Malaysia. Jakarta is Indonesia, yeah. Singapore is on the southern border of Malaysia, south of, okay, so Singapore. So Singapore, peace, yes? Do we agree? Uh, so Singapore is on the southern border of Malaysia. Come on, Singapore, where are you? Yeah, yeah, Jakarta is right there. That's Indonesia. And what are we doing with Indonesia, by the way? We never decided. Uh, What the hell? What am I looking for? I'm looking for Singapore. <laughs> There's Malaysia. Man, having a hard time finding Singapore. Okay, I'll have to find Singapore later. I'll keep that in mind. I'm having a hard time finding Singapore. South of Canada. Oh, there it is, Singapore. Damn, so small little bugger. There it is, Singapore. Where am I? Where I am about to put the blue is Singapore. Okay, right there. Doink. So Singapore blue. We agree. It's like a little mini state. Uh, Joe Chicho. You were wondering where Namibia was. Ah, oh, it's northwest of South Africa. North west Namibia. 
Oh, Northwest, jeez. Oh, we already got Namibia sorted out. That's right, because I got the, the sticker over the name. That's why I couldn't find it. Namibia would put blue. I shouldn't put it on the names. Namibia would got blue. You're saying it's supposed to be yellow? When I said the, the one below the yellow one, I was referring to Singapore. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Okay, so that one. Nice. Thanks, Joe. We're, we're sorted out. <laughs> We sort of so were we saying Namibia civil war? Is that what you're saying? Civil war is just south. Of, okay, cool, cool. We got that sorted out. Awesome. Uh, pond. Papa, papaya, papaya is inside Indonesia, and there is a strong separatist movement. It's in the East Jayupa. Okay, so where are we going to? Indonesia. It's inside. So which part? Bam, bam, bam. Indonesia is over there. It's inside. Oh, inside where? Indonesia. East Timor. East of Jayopa. Okay, I'll have to. Oh no. Okay, I'll have to find those later. It is Kuala Lumpur. Kuala, I keep. I said Kuala Lumpur, and they spelled it Kuala, Kualpa Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you, railway. I <laughs> know Northwest Point sees <laughs> this way. Was I should know. I live on the West Coast. What the hell? Clown world time. Papua New Guinea. Yeah, what are we going to do with Papua New Guinea? Part one map was way easier, way easier. We're hitting the little guys now. Papua New Guinea is a separate, uh, separate country. Papaya is next to it. Oh, okay. Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea is... Wait a second. Papua New Guinea. Yeah, it should be here. Yeah, Papua New Guinea... Yeah, so what's going on in Papua New Guinea? That's I as far as I know, that's blue. Papua. Papua is next to it. Damn. I don't see Papua. I really don't see Papua. So Papua New Guinea, Kenya. Yeah, what about Kenya? What about Kenya? Civil War? So uh, Pond, what about Papua New Guinea? Uh, and what about Kenya? Cannibalism is still going on Papua New Guinea? Nagushika, <laughs> is there? Check me. How is Australia sending weapons, money? Yeah, yeah. Australia's, Australia's in deep into the Western wars, no doubt about it. It's also a civil war in Australia. Australia is same, same as Canada, really. They're raising the world's largest uh, guinea pig farm. Are they? First time chat. Salutations, Alfred. Papua New Guinea's right hand of Big Island above Australia. Yeah. So Papua New Guinea. But is it peaceful there? Is it peaceful there? Or are they involved in any wars? Smith. Papua New Guinea border runs adjacent. Does it? So this is Papua? Wait a second. What? So that's Papua New Guinea. Is that Papua? Oh, it's a region of Indonesia. Oh, so that's where there's a strong separatist movement. Okay, 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 okay. So we're going to put yellow there. Thank you. Thank you, gang. Apologies if I wasn't getting it. Doink. So that's a civil war if they're trying to separate. Boop. 
but I don't see Papua anywhere listed here like the name is not there uh, Papua New Guinea has a lot of violence internally does it so should we is it availability is it legit to say civil war <laughs> sure, I was laughing at Alfred's statement. They are raising the world's largest guinea pig uh, army. Uh -huh. Joe, uh, I think Papua New Guinea is a bit rough, but I don't think it is at war. But would you call the civil war if it's not at war? Papua is filled with cannibals. So Papua is filled with cannibals. Really? Don't go there. Uh Having my first beer for four weeks. Dark matter tastes so good. Oh, I haven't had any. I'm taking a break. I said Haiti is overtaken by criminal gas. Haiti is a civil war. Haiti is a civil war. Right? Basically, Canada, if you want to know what, what, what happened with what's going on with Haiti, Haiti was the first place where there was, there was a slave uprising and they it was under control of France and when the slaves rose up they killed everything france every french citizen including children right they went medieval on that shit, right so they killed france was occupying haiti with the plantations and all that shit, uh and all that jazz they rose up they killed every 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 french every white person annihilated them even if they were kids right and slowly uh the European powers, France and United States and Canada start fucking around with Haiti, right? And they're fucking around with it forever, making an example of Haiti, right? Um, Arist is it Aristide? I forget his name. Uh, the priest that it was exiled. Like, Can Canadian plane, I believe. They did a coup in Haiti. Canadian plane went there, put the president on the plane, and they flew him to Africa. They said, get out, right? So the reason Haiti, it's got its own internal problems and gangs and stuff like this, right? But the main reason that for the last 20 years it's been really fucked with is because France, United States, and Canada are making an example of it. They like the cheap labor, labor and they cannot have a slave uprising, historical, right? And they came out and they said they wanted $1 billion reparation. I think it was $1 billion reparations from france for slavery and france wouldn't have it right so they shot on haiti is peru civil war i think peru's civil war to a certain degree okay peru's in teeter-tottering right now i'm i'm leaving it should we put a put a yellow on it um i'm sort of on the sidelines with peru it could be it could turn stable but it's on a civil right could turn stable but it's on a civil right Jayupa if I could see the city called Jayupa yeah I couldn't see. right now I can't Jayupa where is Jayupa no I think we got it we got it marked though I think we got it marked though Ch -ch -ch uh chile peru and chile what do we say blue or yellow blue or yellow what do you think joe a lot of tribes in papua new guinea delve in cannibalism really it's pretty normal so i hear really damn Smith, can we not say Vatican City with with all their kitty loving priests is a terrorist nation at war with the world? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. But so is London, uh, so is Monaco, so is Washington DC, right? Papua is the Christian region of Indonesia, really? Lechstein and Andorra. I don't know. Yellow works for uh, yellow for Peru and Chile. Sure. Should Chile be blue? Possibly, but there's serious civil unrest in Chile. 
right? There's two factions in Chile. The, the old school money uh, with Pinochet, right? And the poor, right? Mark them all, mark them all. Peru yellow, Peru, Peru yellow, yellow, okay. Peru yellow. What about Chile? What about Chile? Let's do Chile. Let's decide on Chile for the last one and then we end the stream. And Let's come back to this. I like this. Do you guys like this? Should we continue this? Tanzania has internal terrorism. Tanzania, Tanzania, Tanzania. I think personally, all the countries surrounding Lake Victoria should be yellow. Watch the documentary called Darwin's Nightmare. Okay. Void. Void, how are you doing? We're about to end it. Cambodia, what about Cambodia? We put Cambodia as blue, I believe. I think we put Cambodia as blue. Yes, yeah, should definitely continue. We should continue. We should continue. We should continue. Okay, we decide on Chile later. Gang, sorry, I meant Col oh Colombia, uh, Colombia. It slowly start to make peace with Venezuela, right? And shifting a little bit to the left, but I hope it doesn't go as left as Brazil because Brazil is fucking fanatic with Lula. I used to like Lula. He's garbage now. I used to hate Bolsonaro. I like Bolsonaro now. I don't like him, but he's way better choice for Brazil than Lula. What's Colombia going to do? Right? What's Colombia going? Map plus word lyrics. Yeah. I don't think we can do streams next weekend, gang. I won't be able to do streams next weekend. So we're talking two weeks. It's going to be two weeks. Oh, I should have said that as well. Tartaristan Smith. Uh, so, by the way, gang, no stream next week. Uh, next weekend. Uh, it's going to be two weeks. I know, I know. It's got to be two weeks. I'll d yeah, I won't be able to do a stream during the week. Uh, this week. Uh, my apologies, my apologies. I'm not sure about Ecuador. Yeah, it's... Like all of South America right now is doing a shift, right? It's like, how's it going to go? How's it going to play out? Bhutan, Bhutan, we got blue. Bhutan, we got blue. Bhutan is blue. Bhutan is, is a monarchy and pretty peaceful from what I understand. Uh, Paul, Paul, Colombia was really dangerous still in the countryside when I lived there seven years ago. Really? Yeah, I've heard some uh, crazy stuff. About. Supposedly, I met a guy when I was traveling in Germany. Uh, not Germany. When I was traveling in Cuba in the 90s, I met a German guy. And Germans are notorious for traveling uh, all over the place, right? Uh, and he said, Cayo Largo, uh, Cuba, with beautiful beaches, right? He said, the only place he's been to which has better beaches than Havana and then Cayo Largo, Cuba, was an island off the coast of, I forget what island, what the name of the island was, off the coast of Colombia. Okay. Bangladesh, I don't know, Joe. We got to come back to this two weeks from now. We come back to this two weeks from now. Cholula lives off the coast of Massachusetts. Smith, hilarious. Gang, let's call the stream. Thank you for being here. I'm so happy the stream worked with the new setup. I would have been very disappointed if we weren't able to stream today. I love working on this map. I love looking at this map. And I love doing these streams. My apologies again for, for last night. Technical difficulties. Uh, Galapagos Islands. Where are you, Galapagos? Where are they?
wait a second, is it Galapagos here? Or no, this is Easter Island here. <laughs> this is Easter Island, not wherever I can find it. Easter Island. There's Easter Island. Really? Don't, I'm confusing Easter Island with Galapagos. Um, Gray Stream. Are those the islands near Colombia? I, I don't know. I don't know what the name of the island was. He said it was an island on, on, off the coast of Colombia, which is absolutely beautiful. Now, my partner has been to Easter Island. My partner's my partner's been there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Gang, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for the conversation. Thank you for sharing information. If you wonder what this work is about, I am on Patreon, patreoncom chicho We're also on Substack and we're on Subscribestar. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on Substack, and on Twitch, gang, thank you very much for the support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the conversations loving it loving it loving it and learning a lot learning a lot and this is what it's all about this is what it's all about and gang salute to the mods salute to the mods mods thank you for taking care of business and having our backs and being here no way we could do it without you guys so appreciate a lot both the mods uh, that we have on twitch and on gilded right which is our server that uh, you can join uh, share information continue our discussions uh, have some fun serious or chill right we do announce these live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live on twitter minds vk gab parlor uh, getter and uh da -da 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 -da, and something else gap and gap okay so you're definitely welcome to follow us on those platforms for live streams when we don't have any visuals we do upload the audit soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and we will be uploading this live stream this full live stream to sensor tube to bit shoot to rumble and to odyssey to all four video sharing platforms and i'll see if i can take out segments and upload those as well so it's going to take a couple of weeks to filter through the stuff we still have to filter upload the jfk readings as well so i'm behind the times a little bit getting getting uh trying to catch up so uh not streaming next week uh, next weekend uh, hopefully it'll give me time to catch up a little bit and take care of business and i have some family members matters that i need to take care of as well so i might go silent for a couple of days but we'll see we'll see where this all goes gang i hope you have a fantastic week fantastic next couple of weeks i'll see you guys in gilded if you're there and uh we'll continue our conversations bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic uh, sunday evening monday morning bye everyone